all right so here we go we're gonna move on to puzzles so i was doing some puzzles um uh yesterday to blow off some steam honestly after uh after after i um played ding that very crazy match and i was doing i was doing doing some puzzles and it was kind of funny that ironically i and I, this is why i had to stop is because i saw this puzzle number 71 and it's actually a game of mine so this is a position that i had in the u.s championship played in december of 2004 uh between myself with the white pieces and um ildar ibrahimov from uh i mean he's originally from russia but playing in the u.s championship and I had the white piece, and I won this game. This is the very last game. By winning this game, I forced a tiebreaker with um, GM Alexander Shapunsky, who also tied for first place. I would go on to win the win the tiebreaker and take my first U.S. championship title. But just seeing this game was pretty funny. So obviously, I remember this. What happened in the game is I think Ildar took, but he did something wrong after this. It was obviously the correct move. And now the reason this is winning is that Ildar saw King E5, King F6, Rook D8, and he thought that he was just losing in this position. Um... But the reason this isn't winning, I believe, is there's one little tricky move. It's e2, rookie 7, bishop b5, I believe. Am I going to get this wrong or not is a real question. Hopefully not. I think you push, though. Yeah, I think you push. And now white's threatening to go rookie 8. Now, remember, this was a very slow, uh, this was a very slow game, so we both had a lot of time. And I'm pretty sure the key point, and it's a very weird point, is that uh, you go here. I believe it's bishop b5. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand.